So let's talk about non-competitive inhibition kinetics. Huh? So this is a bit more complicated than competitive or uncompetitive inhibition. So I'm going to write the reaction mechanism. So as usual we have enzyme plus substrate. They associate to form enzyme substrate complex and uh, depending on the concentration of your enzyme substrate complex then you will get your initial velocity will change or uh, or if you want you can say the rate of reaction will change so so which means your rate of reaction depends on the concentration of your enzyme substrate complex so probably you must be familiar with this expression with this reaction mechanism by now so that's something we used to used to while we are talking about uh, michaelis menten kinetics and then competitive inhibition and also non-competitive inhibition sorry uncompetitive inhibition so non-competitive inhibition is something that we are going to see now so if you have a non-competitive inhibitor in the solution then it can associate with your enzyme and then it can form enzyme inhibitor complex and then if you have a non-competitive inhibitor it can also associate with your enzyme substrate complex and then it can form enzyme substrate complex sorry enzyme substrate inhibitor complex so and both of them are a dead end complex so nothing will be converted into some new molecule from these two complex yeah and they both are completely reversible and then they are very fast they are highly they are, they are instantaneous once you have enzyme and substrate and inhibitor they associate together and they can form this type of complexes and one more thing that can happen is your enzyme inhibitor complex it can associate with your substrate and then again it can form enzyme substrate inhibitor complex so if you look at this mechanism one thing you can reali realize is no matter if you have an enzyme if you have enzyme which is associated with enzyme substrate or if you have an enzyme which is associated with inhibitor to form to make enzyme inhibitor complex your inhibitor can associate with enzyme substrate complex and then it can also associate with your enzyme your freestanding enzyme and then your substrate can also associate with your enzyme inhibitor to form enzyme substrate inhibitor complex and all of them are instantaneous they are very fast and they occur once you add your inhibitor and the enzyme into the reactor so this is something that is going to happen and irrespective of this uh, inhibition mechanism at the end of the day your rate of reaction depends on the concentration of your enzyme substrate complex so again your initial velocity will be equal to k catalyst multiplied by concentration of your enzyme substrate complex so k catalyst is somewhere around here and then you have an equilibrium constant for the first half of your reaction enzyme plus substrate giving to enzyme substrate complex and then you have a equilibrium constant here ki and ki so what we are assuming that is the equilibrium constant ki is ki that's equal to concentration of your in sorry concentration of your enzyme multiplied by concentration of your substrate divided by no sorry so what we are assuming is ki is equal to concentration of your enzyme multiplied by concentration of your inhibitor divided by concentration of your enzyme inhibitor complex so this is something related to this part of the your reaction sorry this part and then this is exactly equal to concentration of your enzyme substrate complex plus concentration of your sorry multiplied by your inhibitor concentration divided by concentration of your enzyme substrate inhibitor complex so this corresponds to this side of your equation so ki so this is something we are assuming that inhibition constant is exactly equal to this and this yeah so let's put a box and for this type of reaction so once you started your reaction at any instant of time your enzyme concentration inside your reactor must be equal to 
your freestanding enzyme plus your enzyme inhibitor complex so enzyme which is asso which are associated with your inhibitor molecules plus enzyme substrate inhibitor complex plus um, enzyme inhibitor enzyme substrate plus the normal one enzyme substrate complex that will be your total enzyme concentration inside the reactor at any instant of time so we can rewrite this expression e is equal to e plus es plus ei plus esi and then let's go back to let's go back to this expression ki so we know ki is equal to enzyme substrate complex multiplied by inhibitor divided by enzyme substrate inhibitor complex so we need to eliminate so we don't know or we can't measure the concentration of enzyme substrate inhibitor complex and we can't measure enzyme inhibitor complex this concentration and we can't also measure enzyme substrate concentration so we have to eliminate them from our rate expression so that's what we are doing at the moment so we have ki is equal to this one let's call this as uh, say equation two let's call this as equation one so substitute two in equation one so substitute for um, okay we can rearrange the equation two before that so let's rearrange equation two so this way since we can't measure it we can calculate or we can mathematically identify or obtain what the enzyme substrate inhibitor complex will be equal to that will be equal to concentration of your enzyme multiplied by concentration of your inhibitor divided by your inhibition constant ki so let's call this as 3 so substitute equation 3 in equation 1 so if you go to equation 1 here you have enzyme substrate inhibitor complex so substitute this esi value in this part of your expression so your e total will become e total will become e plus enzyme inhibitor complex plus yes replacing concentration of esi with uh, enzyme substrate complex multiplied by inhibitor complex divided by sorry, di sorry multiplied by inhibitor concentration divided by ki plus enzyme substrate so what we have here mm, so let's rewrite this so e plus ei we can take the common factor es so you will get one plus enzyme substrate divided by sorry one plus i divided by ki so we can rewrite this expression ei plus es multiplied by alpha so that's your e total so where alpha will be equal to one divided plus i one plus concentration of i divided by ki we might have derived this already in so this alpha is something similar for a competitive inhibitor